Dr. Kristen Mitness here, coming to you from Life Park Nature Parkway. Today we're going to talk about core strengthening and beginner core exercises. So these are the ones I want you to do before you get into more advanced things, or if you're someone who has a history of low back pain and you want to prevent that from happening in the future, maybe you have a desk job, these are really good ones for you to be able to start off with because it'll strengthen your whole core. So often with core exercises, we think of just the front, but I actually think it's more important to start with your back muscles and to make sure we're getting to, into extension. So the first thing we're going to do is what's called a back extension. And that's just going to require you to get on your belly. I can get King off my lap. Get off for a second. You're going to get on your belly. You're going to put your hands. <laughs> ah. You're going to put your hands right underneath your shoulders. Your nose is going to touch the ground. And you're going to lift your head and your chest up off the ground, utilizing your back muscles. So this just, this is okay if it's just a little movement. It doesn't have to be big. And you're going to do 10 of those. Once you get through 10, you can work your way to 20. And I would love if you do 30 to 40 every day, I shouldn't say every day, every other day, with no residuals, no after or um, delayed onset muscle soreness, your back should feel sore afterward. Be able to do those back ex extensions first. Starting with 10, working up to 40 over the course of a day. They don't have to be all at the same time. Next thing I want you to do is be able to hold a plank. So that's when your hands are underneath your shoulders. Yeah. Your, your toes are down at the end. <laughs> You're looking straight down. You're okay. You're okay. You're going to be able to hold that for a whole minute and you're pressing your shoulders up. I don't want to see your hips drop down. I don't want to see your hips drop up. I want you to see, stay in that exact plank position, pushing your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. After you can do that, you're going to work towards one minute. Again, start with 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Once you can do a full minute of that, you're ready to move on to the next one. And the next one is the same thing, but a side plank. So you're going to go on the side. You can stack your feet, arm goes straight up. Keep those hips high. You're gonna work to do this for a full minute. And then, you move to the other side. Once you can do those all for a full minute, and then you're ready to move on to what's next. And these are working your whole core, not just the front. When it comes to core strength and the core, core function, we need to be able to utilize the whole thing, not just what we think of as our six pack or a rectus abdominis. And the last thing I want you to do is work on core breathing or abdominal breathing. And this is something a lot of us don't do. So to start, you can either lie on your back or sit on your butt. Relax, buddy, relax. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your hands on your belly. You're gonna try to keep your shoulders as still as possible. And you're gonna breathe, take a deep breath in, push your belly out. And then when you breathe out, you're gonna suck your belly in, suck it all the way to your spine. Deep breath in. Push your belly out. When you breathe out, you're pulling your belly in and you're really working that diaphragm, which is the top of the core. Your diaphragm is part of your abdominal muscles more so than almost anything else because you're using, using it all the time. So the better we can get at diaphragm breathing or abdominal breathing, okay, the stronger and more functional your core will be in the long run. So those are where you're going to start. When you're done with those, or when you can do those comfortably, then we move on to the intermediate exercises. Let me know how it goes. Take care.